Mm. Oh god. It's so late. Who the fuck is that? Oh. Hi. What's up? Why are you here? It's like 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, jeez, come in. It's freezing out here. Do you want something to drink? I've got tea, hot chocolate, water, coffee. Tea? Tea. Any kind you want. Here, let me get us started. Settle down on the couch. Okay, good. Let's start it. Now, do you want to tell me why you're here at the earthquake of dawn? Whoa, whoa, okay. Hey, look at me. Just breathe. Take a deep breath in. And out. Okay, now. What happened? Yeah, you mentioned. The person you were gonna go out with tonight. You've been seeing them for, what, five weeks now? What did they do? They made you a what? A bed. A fucking bed. What, what kind of bed? To date you for two months before dumping you. What kind of putrid excuse of a human being? What the fuck? That's so shitty. How did you find out? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. That's god awful. Come here. You didn't deserve to be treated like that. No, not at all. Not for one second. They didn't deserve you. You deserve to be treated with kindness and respect at the minimum. The fact that they couldn't even give you that proves that they never deserved you for just a second. Oh, yeah, of course you can take a shower. I'll, I'll leave some clothes for you in the bathroom. Hopefully they'll fit, okay? Good. I'll see you in a bit. Get cleaned up so that your outsides don't feel as gross as I know you feel inside. Plus... Showers always make me feel better, so go ahead. I'll be here when you get out, okay? God, how could someone do that kind of thing? And to her, of all people. Oh, what now? Who would call it this time? Oh. It's him. Just in time to give that douche a piece of my mind. You truly be the biggest idiot on earth. How could you do something so disgusting? No, you don't fucking understand. You piece of shit. You had the most amazing person fall into your lap. The kindest soul. The most miraculously intelligent, ridiculously sweet being in the world. And you tossed that away for what? Some shitty bragging rights about which of your stupid little clique could be the scummiest stain on humanity? I told you you didn't deserve her for a second and your fuck up just proves it to me. Stay the hell away from her or we're gonna have problems. She won't come back to you. She's so much smarter than you ever realized or cared to learn. And I'll remind her of it every time she thinks of ever sinking down into the murky depths where you and your little gang linger. Have the life you deserve, loser. Gosh, what a di- Oh, God. How long were you standing there? Yeah. Um... They were kind of blowing up your phone. And I really just didn't want to have to keep hearing from them all night. So I kind of decided to tell them off. I know, I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to touch your phone without your permission. Anyway, I have your tea here, and I went ahead and made scallion pancakes. Chewy and soft, but easy to pull apart. Just how you like them. The only thing in your life that should be flaky and fall apart are scallion pancakes. Come on, join me. We'll put something on the background. Um, yeah. I absolutely had to do it. You needed it after the night you had. God, you look good in my clothes. Hmm? What? Nothing. I was just talking to myself. Yeah, sit, sit. You, my friend, have been missing out on some good drama. Last time we left off, Lydia was sleeping with her boyfriend's sister, though she didn't know it at the time. And that's how Cherise ended up with the dog, right? I never would have seen that one coming. It's so crazy to me. <sighs> oh, damn. Is that the time? We should really be heading to bed. You can take the bed, I'll sleep on the couch. Nope, I'm not gonna hear it. You've been through enough tonight, okay? I just want you to get a good night's rest. Yes, I'm sure. You get some good sleep, okay? Hmm? What did you want to talk about? The call. What about it? <laughs> of course I meant what I said. Every word. You're the most delightful person I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. You're such a sweet individual. You're caring. I mean, you take care of everyone around you. You're clever, quick-witted, and so passionate about everything. I've watched you struggle and come out on top so many times. When I watch you achieve something, it's like watching the sunrise in your eyes. That's why I've... Oh, I mean... It's just one of the many traits that I admire about you. You're just so incredible and radiant. And I want to be a part of your life for as long as you'll allow me to be. Anyway, it's late. You and I both need to get to bed. I'll drop you off at home tomorrow morning, okay? Good. Sleep well. I'll see you in the morning. Hmm? Did you need something else? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I... Wow. Uh, did you mean to... Oh, you did. Okay. Uh, no. You're okay. You just caught me off guard as all. I was never expecting that to happen. Years of hoping, but never letting myself get too carried away. Wait, what? Since when did you have a crush on me? You're kidding. You dated a chump to get over me? Ah, oh, I thought I had no chance when you started dating them. Me and my lack of communication. God, do you know how fucking long I've wanted to kiss you? Can we do it again? <laughs> Come here. Okay, 
um, as much as I'd like to stand here with my face attached to yours, uh, I do have work tomorrow. We also have a lot to talk about, but for now, we should really get some rest. Oh, you want to sleep in the same bed together? Right after we just kissed? How naughty of you. Next thing I know, you suggest premarital hand-holding. <laughs> Ow! I'm just teasing. I'd be more than happy to share my bed with you. Mm. This is so surreal. I never thought I'd be able to have you in my arms like this. No matter what conclusion we come to tomorrow morning, I want you to know that I'll still support you fully. You mean so much to me, and I'm so glad to have you in my life. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, my love.